Amongst all the Super Bowl fun, the NFL also took time this morning to thank a special group of people working to end domestic and sexual violence. Ford Hatchet got to meet some of Arizona's key advocates. Well, the focus is obviously on the big game. Thursday morning, the NFL gathered to celebrate unsung heroes, advocates working right here in Arizona. For myself, I was like, what? Really? <laughs> Marcella and Karen are both advocates for a domestic violence and sexual assault prevention program in cells. They drove more than three hours from the Thana Otham Nation to take it all in. Those who work in the field of victim services you know, often don't get recognized for the work that they do. And the NFL, being that the Super Bowl was here this year, was wanting to recognize um, victim services across Southern Arizona. So that was really exciting. So we were grateful to get the invitation. Get the invitation, be recognized by the NFL. I mean, all of these people here are being recognized for the work that they do. So there's local advocates here. There's people from national organizations. And those are the people who are on the front lines. Tracy Breeden is on the front lines here in Phoenix, working with tech companies including Match and Uber to create safe spaces free of domestic and sexual violence. This is hard work. These, uh, these folks who are on the front lines every day, you know, this is, they are working in these communities day in and day out, and you don't always get recognized for this kind of work. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and Sabrina Greenlee, mother of Cardinals wideout DeAndre Hopkins, thank the attendees. There's a lot of advocates for it right here in Phoenix and Arizona. There's really a huge community of people working on domestic violence and sexual violence and trafficking in Arizona. We just want to raise them up. For the dedicated advocates, the event is only heightening their anticipation ahead of the Super Bowl. It's just getting exciting as the time gets closer to kickoff. In Phoenix, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.